Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, before we start, I mean, people, they send me text messages. Uh, the admin, he blocked me. Uh, you know, please don't contact me about this. Change your name and come back. Obviously, he did something wrong. Just log in with your new account in Google and come back. Don't spam. Don't ask private questions. And don't be silly. Nobody will block you. Uh, our topic today is who is Allah very simple Muslims they put a graphic around the name of Allah they put decoration they I mean look at this uh, the, the word I mean look at those like uh, little things between the letters I mean look I mean it's like what is what is missing is to add the Christmas light on it uh, put some earring uh add the uh, eyeliner like the prophet muhammad used to do you know he want to be pretty but yet they do not know who's allah i mean i mean have you ever heard of a religion like this not a single muslim knew who is allah my pal talk is open and any muslim can call me now i know this before we start that some people start talking about this person is from this country and that person is from that country. This is remind me of my grandma speaking to the other grandma about the other grandma. I don't know. I mean, some people, they are really still immature and silly. Hmm. What we can say? Look like some people want to kill time. What is your business? Where is this person from? Where is this person from? Let us find out where is Allah from. Grow up. Grow up. And be an adult mature. Being an adult is not about age. If you read your chat or your text for the last 30 minutes, you will notice how much funny you are and how much silly and how much a child is. I'm not talking about the person, I'm talking in general. Then you will notice who you are really. Your questions speak about who you are. It's like somebody you know when somebody he go to give a gift you know like let's say somebody have a birthday and you want to take a gift for him and your gift speak for you what kind of a person you are so try uh, uh, always to focus with us and don't be a, you know a child please be mature now before we start one of you he asked me to talk about certain verse in the Quran and obviously the reason for this verse uh, uh, Muslims they claim there is a scientific miracle here yet our our topic is who is Allah but we will use this verse to start looking for Allah uh, let us see If you go and search a little bit in the in, in in Prophet Google, peace upon him, you will see thousands of videos of Muslims. They made them speaking about scientific miracle in the Quran, and this is one of them supposedly, the darkness in the depth of the ocean, miracle of the Quran. I mean, here you notice that the deep dark scientific miracle of the Quran, the deep dark sea, all of this in this verse. Are you sure? All right, we apologize. We have uh, some technical difficulty. I forgot to say inshallah before I start my broadcast, so we lost our internet. But now we are able to restore our internet by saying inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Take a beer, take a beer. So, we were saying, who is a Muslim? He is very sure that this verse in the Quran, chapter 24, verse number 40, is speaking about the dark, deep sea. Any Muhammadan? If there is any Muhammadan there to say, I am sure? A challenge. Any Muhammadan there 
to say this is about the dark, 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 deep sea. First of all, you know, always if you want to see how Muslims, they try to fool you about their Quran. You can copy the verse and take it to Google Translation. Are you going to find the word deep sea? Is it in the verse? Muslims, is the word deep sea in the verse? Any Muslim? If the word in the Quran never mentioned the word deep sea, why it is in your translation and why it is in your video? Any Muslim can explain to me? This is the verse in front of me. Who is the Muslim when I point his finger at the word deep sea? Any Muslim? <clears throat> the darkness inside the deep sea. Does it say the word darkness in the deep sea like in the deep sea if it's not so where you got this from i mean they speak about the muslims are the one who preserve their quran but yet they have no problem to fabricate quran because this is a fabrication you see Fabrication can be done by many ways. I mean, if you translate wrong translation, this is a fabrication. If you add words are not there, this is a fabrication. If you delete words, they are there, this is fabrication. So I'm asking the Muslims, where we can find, you see, I'm in front of me, all those videos saying the darkness of the deep sea, the depth in the, of the ocean, Who is the one who is willing to call me and show me the word, the depth? And even the word ocean does not exist. It says sea, but we can let it go, the word sea. Where we can find the word, the deep, dark sea in the verse. Do you see how we refuted them even before we go for a debate? It's not there. <laughs> Do you see it? It's not there. Look at them. None of them dare to say, I can show it to you. Did you notice? There's no deep, dark sea. So where you get this conclusion? And you know, let me teach you always how you get them busted. It's not, okay, maybe now you will say because a Christian prince, he speak Arabic, right? Okay, hold on. Let us go, uh, uh, when, when you read Muslim translation, you, you have to flip a little bit, play with it. Like change different translation. You will see how the translation change and the Quran change. It's like a miracle. So this is the, uh, the translation of Yusuf Ali. Let us take Hilali and Khan. <clears throat> All right. This is Hilali and Khan. Or the state of this believer is like the darkness of a vast deep sea. Hmm? There's a deep sea. Where is the word deep sea coming from? We change. We keep trying. Let us see uh, Big Tal or Shakir. Or like 
outer darkness in the deep sea well obviously I'm wrong I mean it must be the word deep there and I am not seeing it any Muslim can tell me where is the word deep in the Arabic which one anyone who want to help me which one is the word deep in this verse in Arabic because I'm trying to understand how it appear in the translation but we cannot find it in Arabic maybe I am not educated and I want you to help me any Muhammadan Look at this guy here. Where is the deep sea? The word deep disappear. Eh, what happened? In this translation, there's no deep. What this word mean? Let me check what this word mean. I'm not sure really. I think this guy, he was searching extremely bad appealing oh okay right. muslims where is the word deep where is the word deep here we go this is a muslim translation how come this translation there's no deep we check two translation three translation the word deep sea in this one we don't have deep sea what happened is that a new quran Abu Ismail is deep? Really? Well, I search it in Google. It doesn't sound like deep. Let me see. Here we go. I search. No, it doesn't say deep. Here it says extremely bad, appealing. Yeah, it's not deep. Ah, okay. Here it says waterfall that belong into depth are very deep. Ah, okay, so here we go. Sorry. And you see, I don't know what this word means. So yes, this guy, he said the word deep sea. Let's change the guy. So this is number four translation. Saying deep sea. All right. The deep sea. I mean, all of them, they are saying deep sea. What we will do now? Hmm. They will say to you that one of the meaning of the word Lujay, this word, mean deep like hello this is the word deep mm. you see when when you say the word Baharin Lujay the word Bahar itself obviously it's a sea The word Lujay is a sea have a lot of waves. If you use the word water, maybe we can use it to speak about the word deep. But we are using the word Lujay describing the sea. If there is a sea who is not deep anyway. I mean, have you ever seen a sea is not deep? You see, we are saying the sea, not the shore. So what the Quran is speaking here about, this is why he's speaking about the waves right after that. He's saying, يَغْشَاهُ مَوْجٌ مِنْ فَوْقِ مَوْجٍ مِنْ فَوْقِ مَوْجٌ فَوْقَهُ مَوْجٌ So there's, there's waves after waves after waves, non-stop. When they say فَوْقَهُ, that means it's not like in the top of each other. They, are, they keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, waves. And then here you see that this is not about the deep sea for a very simple reason. Do you see here it says in the top of it there's dark cloud? What the dark cloud have to do with the deep sea? The dark sea will not be affected by there's a cloud, there is sun, there's no sun. It's a dark anyway. Even if it's the middle of the day, 
because this is what the Muslim trying to say, like about how deep the sea is, and when, the more you go deep, the more dark it is, until you cannot even see your hand. Very dark. But this is not about the depth darkness. This is about that because there is a storm, it's like there is a, this is why he's saying is the likeness of a storm in the sea where you cannot even see your hand because there is dark cloud, dark storm, crazy storm, waves. The Muslim, they make it about the darkness of the sea. Uh, in the deep. You know, and they say how Allah he knew. Secondly, those people they you know uh, uh, Mecca is very close to the to the sea, the Red Sea, and most of people who live in the seaside they do diving. They look for pearls. This is not a secret. You know, when you dive in the water, you go deep. The more deep you go, the more dark it is. So the verse is not speaking about that. Otherwise, the word the cloud there is, mean make no sense. Let us say for the sake of argument that this word here is about the word deep does not mean or not did not mean uh, uh, as in the uh, 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 wavy sea extremely wavy like stormy sea so let us say that this word here present the word deep okay what the cloud it says in the top of it there's darker cloud And the word darkness is the darkness for the sea or for the cloud? Because here it says, "Min fawqihi sahabun zulumatun ba'dha fawqa ba'd," which means the direction of the darkness is going up to this cloud, not to the sea. You see, when they fabricate translation, they get themselves busted. Look at this. This is the Muslim translation. Above which is a cloud. Darkness one above another. <laughs> so the verse not only does not speak about the darkness of the deep sea it's speaking about the darkness of the cloud let us change the translation this is uh abadi i don't know what his name let us see a diff uh, different abdul uh sahih international sahih international mahal alhamdulillah Read with me carefully, Muhammadan. It's like the likeness or the darkness within and flothamable sea, which is covered by a wave upon which are waves, which mean wave after one. Over, you see, now we are done speaking about the sea. Here, let us put a, put a line. Let us put a line and we make the line in blue. Until now, we are talking about the sea. So from here to this point, we are speaking about the sea. The second part is speaking about the cloud. Over, over what? Over the sea. Which are cloud, dark cloud, darkness, some of them upon others. So what the Muslim did, they switched the darkness upside down. Instead of speaking about how dark the cloud is, it became the sea is the dark. Do you see it? Which one is the dark? The cloud.
Do we have any Muslim disagree? Who is a Muslim disagree? I mean, it is really unbelievable how they switch. Look, they switch even the arrow side. Instead of going up, it's going down. The darkness word is coming after the cloud. Not when describing the sea. Any Muslim? Have a comment? So, if it's about the dark sea, the deep in the, in the depth, then the cloud will have no business, and the waves in the top have no business, because if it is wavy or not, still the sea will be dark. Do we agree? Is that correct? You have to connect the the words together to see what this person trying to say to you. So, because it's wavy, because there is a storm. Because there is dark cloud. The word dark is appearing next after the verses spoke about the sea already. The sea is done. There's no more sea. Any Muslim? Anyway, you know, uh, yeah, actually, if, if, if this is about the dark sea, let us say, let us say that even the word dark is about the sea. Well, this would be stupid because what the dark sea deep in the ocean have to do with the darker cloud? You tell me. We have a person, his name is Dean. He is saying Jesus never been killed. It's an illusion. Well, thank you for saying that. But don't you know that the one who created that illusion, if it was an illusion, it was your God, Allah? Which is, again, another, another stupid trick from Allah. Let us take a, a selfie for you. Smile. You are in my present. Look what this Abdul, he said. Christianity is false. Jesus was never killed. It was only illusion. <laughs> and who is the one who created this illusion? Allah. I mean, can you believe how stupid this cult is? According to the Quran, Allah, he made someone look like Jesus in the cross. <laughs> and now this idiot... <laughs> His name is Muhammad. He is coming to us 600 years after to say to us, hey, listen, listen, brother and sister, it was someone looked like Jesus. <laughs> what a comedy. <laughs> Are you Thur, Muhammad? Yes, I'm very Thur. And uh, Muhammad, who is the one who made someone look like Jesus? Allah? So Allah makes someone look like Jesus? Hmm? And you are coming to us to say this was an illusion? Have you ever heard of a stupid religion more than this? So if we go in the Quran, as long as he mentioned this, I think we finished this one, you know. Uh, and by the way, hold on, before we go to the, the crucifixion of Jesus, uh, <laughs> as long you are talking about scientific miracle in the Quran, what about we read this one? As long Allah, you know, like uh, you must have claimed that Allah, he knew what is inside the deep sea. Have you ever heard of a, a God? He think that there is hail coming from mountains in heaven. Mr. Deep Sea, are you there? Do you want to see Allah who drive the cloud? Okay, Allah, he drive the cloud. 
I thought the one who drive the cloud is an angel. His name is Rahad. If you go to the Quran, 1313, let us go there, 1313. You will see the Muslim believe that there is a thunder or an angel. His name is Mr. Thunder or Rad in Arabic. He is the one who drive the cloud and he have 70,000 angel in his right side and 70,000 angel in his left side. And when he move his fire belt, this is how Muhammad he explained the thunder. He move his fire belt to beat the cloud with it. Read carefully. This is your interpretation. Science, huh? This is science, supposedly. Are you still insisting, Muslim, that your book is a book full of science? Let us read together. By his command, it's an angel. It's also said that the voice of the sky. So do the angels also the angel him and his prize for a we and the angel we toward Allah, uh, i.e. fire, and uh, uh, he, he sameth with them whom he will. So Allah, he hit the one who he like with the fire of the, the angel thunder. All right. Uh, and then, uh, let me let me see. There is there is a better interpretation, which is more funny. Let me see if I can find it, but I don't think we can find it in Arabic. I mean, in English. Um, and the thunder is an angel who is in charge of the cloud, driving them while constantly proclaim his praise that he says, Takbir, 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 subhanallah, the, you know, the, 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 the thunder saying subhanallah, walhamdulillah. When you hear, I don't know how to explain it to you, you know, most of you are not educated. I am the only Arab here who have high school. Hey, it's okay. I forgive you. Hmm? So in case you are not able to comprehend this scientific miracle, in the sky, there is a guy, his name is Thunder. And now he is saying the song you see, he is saying Subhanallah Walhamdulillah. What do you think? Listen. Subhanallah and Alhamdulillah. And Takbir. What is your science? And he beat the cloud by his belt. Do we have any uh, Muslim here? Want to say something? Let us go. Let us go and see Ibn Kathir interpretation for this verse because I want to I want to show you the science they speak about I mean you cannot be selective can you I mean Allah cannot be scientists in some places and stupid in other places that's impossible my friend so this is a chapter 13 verse number 13 as long and the reason I mention it remember because you spoke about a verse talking about the cloud the dark cloud okay this is Ibn Kathir this is who? Don't tell me I'm lying. Don't tell me I'm making things up. Don't tell me this is my translation. Don't tell me this is my website. I know your stupidity and your game. It says here, uh, where is the, where is the interpretation? Hmm. We don't see it in Arab. In uh, what? What happened? It just says he sent a strike. Where is the rest? Just give me a break. Let us go to the Arabic. We can use Google Translation, no problem. 
let us go to the Arabic. <clears throat> All right, let us see. Hmm. Oh, beautiful. Man. All right, let us see. I mean, all those interpretation are really funny, uh, but we want to show you something useful. Hmm. It's the same here, but we want. I I I forgot which book the one is speaking about the thunder beating the cloud with his. Let me see. This is Al Qurtubi. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see which one. You have to see Ibn Kathir in Arabic, maybe. All right, all right, okay. Give me a second. All right. Alhamdulillah, we found it. Thank you to the pagan god Allah. I was afraid I'm not going to find it. Hmm. All right. This is in Google Book. Google Book, we cannot. Uh, we cannot use translation, so let us do this. Hmm. All right, this is the book I found in different book. This is Jalaluddin al-Suyuti, very famous big scholar. And those are hadith, and this is the one speaking is Ibn Abbas. He said, the rod is a male, he is an angel from the angels. His name is Thunder. His name is Rad. And he is the one you hear his voice. And the lighting is his belt, which is a from light. And he like shout at the cloud or beat the cloud by it. And then here, another sheikh, he said from Ibn Umar from from from, he said that Allah, he made this thunder in charge of the cloud by whipping them. So if he want to lead it, which means if Allah, he want to lead the cloud from a country or to city to other city, he order him so the angel will beat the cloud and he will make it go in that direction. And if they, the cloud, they did not gather together, he scream at them until they come back together. Now we can read the rest, which is very funny, but let us do this. First of all, let me, let me uh, give you the link. Who want the link? Guys, do you want the link? Because you can do what I will do, which mean you can just use Google Translation. This is the link, let me post it for you. If you open this link with Google Browser, be, be sure you open it with Google Browser, otherwise Google Translation will not work. And then Click at the page and choose translate to the language of your choice. And then you tell me if a Christian prince is lying. The thunder is an angel, not a king. This is a wrong translation. An angel of the angels, who his name is thunder. <laughs> and it is sound of which he hear you hear, which means like the, the sound we hear from the thunder, and the lighting he whip is, is his whip 
of the light which he whipped the cloud with it i mean translation is not accurate but you, you get the point and here in the second line it says god assign him which means mr thunder the angel to drive the cloud and god wanted to drive it uh, if god he wanted to drive the cloud from a town to a town he command the angel who would drive the cloud and he scream at them with his voice until they gather together if they separated so when the muhammad and they come to us and they see we say we have scientific miracles in the quran and then we find not only the quran is a stupid book i mean this, this god he think that thunder is an angel there is hail coming from mountains in heaven where is hail coming from and he sent down from the sky mountains and between two brackets they say the word of a clouds liars there's no cloud there let me show you how they lie when they translate never 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 trust there between two bracket you know actually supposed to he's being honest he put the word of a cloud between it to tell you that it's not there but this is what it's meant but he is a deceiver if we go to the verse interpretation and remember the verse interpretation of Islam most of them especially like the ones happened like uh, uh, 600 years 700 years after Muhammad those are they made to defend Islam when, when Islam starts getting weaker it's not like the sword is not working anymore as before so they start defending by fabrication but if we go and read we will find that all the scholars agree that the verse in Arabic saying clearly that there is mountains of hail which Allah he sent hail from it read carefully this is Tafsir Ibn Abbas the cousin of Muhammad he's a companion and he is not making his own everything this guy is saying he heard it from Muhammad so he said uh, he sent down hail from mountains in heaven In the translation from mountains of a cloud in the in the in the in the Quran translation you see the difference here it says he sent down hail from mountains in heaven not there's a cloud in heaven as they say unbelievable how they lie they have no shame they have no dignity and all of this supposedly is to cover up the stupid verses in the Quran. And actually, this is why I'm here. So they cannot fool you. They cannot fool you. If we go to Ibn Kathir, just to show you how we get them busted. This is Ibn Kathir. And let me copy the link for you of Ibn Kathir so you can open it and you can see by your own eyes. This is Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir saying, do Ibn Kathir speak good Arabic? Oh, no, he is not. He's in the uh, Karnaik, brother. Means from mountains in it, of mean eyes means that there are mountains of hail in the sky which Allah he sent down ice do you see it people do you see it do you see it so why in the translation saying like a cloud, cloud like mountains, why they are adding things? Because it's very embarrassing. So let us make it simple. A verse before this, the Muslim claimed that Allah, he spoke about the dark sea. 
and then a verse after or two verses after Allah speak about hail mountain of hail coming from the sky and he break hail and he sent it on us and when I put a Muslim in the in the chat he says to, to us this is not a hadith uh, very you know very, my friend this is the Quran you see this is Quran Quran saying Quran Abdul this is Quran the Quran saying there is mountains of hail in the heaven and you Muslim, you try to cover up the stupidity of the Quran. Any Muslim want to say something? So now we are done with this, are we? I mean, the whole chapter is, is full of, of, of uh, like, if we read the verse after it, let us, you want to laugh? Let us continue laughing. Look at this. And Allah, He created every animal from water. Really? It says in Arabic here, Kulla da batin. Kulla da batin. Every creature who walk created from water. Okay. Look what the Quran says. فَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ يَمْشِي عَلَى بَطْنِهِ what? Some of them who walk in their belly. Look at the translation. They say some of them of those who move in their belly. But in the in Arabic it says walk. The word walk is only for those who have legs. Those who have no legs are snakes. You don't say the word walk. Muhammad, he used a wrong word in Arabic. Some of them, they walk in two legs. And some of them, they walk in four. What about the rest? I remember there's an insect. She told me, I actually, uh, she told me about her boyfriend, that her boyfriend, I forgot his name between the insect, that he have, I don't know how many legs, like 40 legs, something. That's it. There's animals have two legs and animals have, they walk in, in, in their belly and there's animals have four legs. Uh, Jai Khan is saying wrong. Guys, let me show you the stupidity here again. Abdul, I just showed you Ibn Kathir, what's wrong with you? I just showed you Ibn Kathir, I just showed you uh, 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 Ibn Abbas, I just showed you a Jalalain. So you, Abdul, who don't speak Arabic, you know what it's mean? You know. And Ibn Kathir, he is a stupid. <laughs> and by the way, the Quran in different verse says that Allah he created from water every living thing. Muslims who agree. Any Muslim agree? was Allah, right? Or he was doing some stupid statement again. Any Abdul? <clears throat> uh, when I say the word stupid is amazing, I mean it. Let us read the Quran. Let me open the verse. Until now we are waiting for a Muslim to tell us who is Allah. Remember, the topic is, until now not even one Muslim he want to talk about it. Because you don't know. Not a single Muslim he knew anything about Islam. As you see, they have no idea. If we go in the Quran, we will find this verse. Chapter 21, verse number 30. It says, وَجَعَلْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَيٍّ Remember the Quran said, 
if this book is from other than Allah, you will find a lot of contradiction. You remember? Chapter 4, verse number 82. If this book is from someone other than Allah, you will find a lot of a problem and contradictions. Wonderful. So what is this? Anyone notice what is the contradiction? Muslims, is the angels are made from light, from, from water, according to the Quran. The verse saying we made every living thing, no exception. And he is speaking about the earth and the heaven. Every living thing is made from water. Is Jibril made from water? According to Islam, is Satan made from water? Any Muhammadan? Anyone? A simple question, Muslims, just tell me, what is the, this guy, Khan, what is his name? Tell me, my friend, the war, is, is, is Jibreel made from water? Satan in Islam is a genie. He is not an angel. Some Christian, they mix between Christianity and Islam. So they say, okay, angel, when we speak about angel, we think that Satan is an angel. In Islam, no, Satan is not an angel. And even the funny that Allah, he called Satan by the word Iblis. Allah is copying the Greek. Yeah, my pal talk is on. <clears throat> Any Muslim? So, Satan, he is made from fire. Angels are made from light. The Quran says we made every living thing from water. Any Muslim? Uh, Sarah Ashraf, maybe he's a Muslim, he is trying, he said. Maybe he meant in earth, my friend, isn't it, isn't it Adam was in heaven anyway? Isn't it genie he was in heaven anyway? But isn't it Satan he lived in earth anyway? Isn't it Jibreel he was with Muhammad anyway? And isn't it this verse was given when Jibreel he was there in the earth anyway? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Ashraf? I don't know if you guys you notice what Mr. Uh, uh, Ashraf he said. I think Ashraf is a Muslim. He's welcome. Think with me, Ashraf. I think it means living things on earth. But genie, he live in the earth. Satan, he live in the earth. And they are made from fire. Aren't they? I remember the verse saying every living thing. He did not say we made a human only. Every living thing is made from water. I'm not sure about bacteria. Bacteria are made from water. The black stone is made from water. The black stone who will have mustache, uh, sorry, will have a, a, a mouth and tongue and eyes. Are you mad? Every Muslim knows who is Allah. Okay, tell me who is Allah. Guys, look at the answer. Mr. Khan, he went to Google. He spent 10 hours searching. After 40 minutes of me starting my program, he come with this answer. Smile, Khan, you will be in the screen. This is the answer, who's Allah? Christian Blins, are you mad? Every Muslim knows who's Allah? Hello? 
Allah is the creator. Oh, hold on, are you sure? But isn't it the Quran says Allah is the best of the creators? How you say Allah is the creator? And secondly, I did not ask you what Allah he do. I'm asking you who is Allah? But hold on, even this one doesn't work. Because the Quran says in many verses that Allah is the best of the creators. Chapter 23, verse number 14 and chapter 37, verse 125. Who is the best creator? Allah. So how you say to me, Allah is the creator? When you say the creator, that's mean he is the only creator. Allah don't agree. Allah, he says, he is not the only one. There's others. <clears throat> Any Muslim? So what you said to me, it was not true. You are taking advantage of me because I'm very young and I don't, I am illiterate like Prophet Muhammad and I am six years old like Aisha and you are educated and I am not. And because my teeth are broken like Zakir Naik, brother Tatar, Christian Prince Adkik with him, who the Allah? First of all, the person the Christian is stupid. Every Muslim knew what Allah. Allah is the creator. But how he is the creator if he is the best of the creators? We have a, we have a certification from the hand of Allah saying, I am that the only creator. What we will do now? Uh, uh, Sarah Ashraf saying, uh, since we can create things, no, my friend. Creation, the word creation is for someone he can do, create something from nothing. Or give life. Let me give you the definition from the Quran. Let me let us take first a selfie for you. Guys, you should see my screen. It's full of selfie. So Sarah, Sarah usually it's a name of a girl, but we have a boy picture. So since we can create certain things. No, you cannot create certain things. When God, he speak about creation, he speak about things, nothing was not exist. And giving life. As an example, if you go in the Quran, you will find Allah saying to you who you should worship. If someone can create a fly, you worship him. So this is what creation mean. Create a fly. So when you say, I am the best of the creator, that mean in the in the worst scenario the other creator created a fly who are they those who you worship beside allah they cannot create even a fly do you see it so this will be a contradiction how you are saying that they cannot be creating a fly and then you say to me you are the best of the creators Are you there, Sarah? If I am the only one exclusive ability to create a fly, then I should not say I am the best who create flies. Because this is what the best of the creators mean. I am the best who create a fly. I am the best who create a human. I am the best to create a watermelon. I am the, and by the way, Muslims, they are allowed to, to marry watermelon if, in case you do not know. Ali Muhammadan? Yeah, we are not creators. I mean, we, we, well, this is religious. You know, we are talking about religion, my friend. Creator, I can use the word the creator if you are talking about somebody creating an, an idea. But this is not what he's saying. Don't, don't fool yourself. You see, even the Quran beat you. Allah, he compared himself to Baal. Do you know who's Baal? Baal is a famous god. the God of fertility. So when you put your name next to his name and you say, you worship Baal and I am the best of the creators, that's mean Allah, he is saying Baal is a creator, but he is better than Baal. Read it. Yeah, you do not know, you cannot marry, you know, I can show you the reference. 
Are you? If you insist, I will show you, Sarah. You wanna call me? Call me if you are a male. If you are a female, don't call me because the topic is very sensitive. In the front of everybody, I will show you that Muslims they marry a watermelon. Without marriage, you know, you know what I'm talking about. You have fatwas about having boom boom with watermelon, having boom boom with the bread, having boom boom with the leather, having boom boom. I mean, you you know it. Are you are you telling me you never heard this before? Okay, you will come. Okay. Any Muslim want to tell me how Allah He compare Himself? So as you see, Allah cannot be exist. Obviously, someone is writing a book, it's called Quran, and this person is an idiot. He did not know how to phrase words. Actually, if you go and check the story behind he is the best of the creators, you will find that this is was because of a guy who was the inscribe of Muhammad. And then when Muhammad was reciting this verse, claiming that Allah he inspired him, asking this scribe to write it for him, he did read from this part until he arrived to this part, flesh. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, and, and, uh, creation. Then the guy who was listening, Abdullah ibn Sarah said, so blessed is Allah, the best of the creators. Muhammad, he said to him, put it there. The guy, he said, but what? <laughs> Muhammad, he said the verse. <laughs> he said, but this is what I said. <laughs> Muhammad, he said, Allah said that to me too. <laughs> and the funny... Uh, <coughs> <laughs> and the funny this is a story you find it in Muslim books it's not in the Christian books it's not a Jewish books it is in the tafsir and they say that this person when he heard this he left Islam <laughs> I mean the guy he is the one who said the word Muhammad he liked it he said to him put it there What do you say? Any Mohammedan have an explanation for what's happening? <laughs> what? What a scam! The guy he said the word, then inscribe your secretary. Let's say you are you are telling your secretary to write a letter. In this case, Muhammad, he claimed that the one who sent him those words are Allah. The guy is writing what Muhammad, he said. Muhammad, he was speaking and then he stopped. He stopped what he says into another creation. The guy who was the, the secretary, he, he liked what Muhammad said. So he said, فَتَبَارَكَ اللَّهُ أَحْسَنُ الْخَالِقِينَ so blessed is Allah, is the best of the creators. Suddenly Muhammad, he heard him what he said. He says, put it there. The guy, he said, but what? He said, what you just said. For Allah, he said that to me too. Then this guy, he said to himself, if this is what Allah, he said to Muhammad, well, Allah, he said that to me before him. So I must be a prophet too. And then he left Islam. How in the world Muhammad can be a prophet of God? Hmm? <clears throat> Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim when I call me and tell me what? So what is who is Allah? Muhammad, because he's a thief, 
He took the word from this man, he added to the Quran, and now he got himself busted. So because of Muhammad's theft, we are laughing right now. Otherwise, if Muhammad just stopped there, he did not take the last sentence, we will not be saying to the Muslims, how oh, Allah is the creator when there, he is the best of the creators. He is not the creator. If I am the only student, I don't say I am the best of the students, because that's a lie. When Allah, he says, I am the best of the creators, and you must believe that Allah, he claim that he is the only creator, that means Allah is exaggerating and lying. This is <clears throat> the books of Tafsir in Arabic. I will give you the link and you can translate, use Google translation. When you open this page, in case this page go take you to the front page, click at number three. You click at number three. Let me copy the link for you. Give me a second and I will post it for you. I encourage you all of you, Muslim, Christians, Hindu, Jews, who you know, save the link and anyone who wanna argue about it, you tell him use Google Translation. Use Google Translation. <clears throat> I just gave you the link. I hope it's appearing. Is it appear? <coughs> Here it says. And who is the one is talking? This is a Tafsir al-Kabir, the Imam al-Razi, very big name for the Muhammadan. He said, from Ibn Abbas, reported from Ibn Abbas, that this is about Abdullah ibn, ibn Sa'd ibn Abi Sarh. He was writing those verses for the Prophet. And when the Prophet, he finished, to the statement saying Khalqan Akhar. Muhammad he stopped here. He continued saying, Ajuba min dharik. He was wondering, he liked it. So he said, Faqal Allahu Ahsan al Who is the one who said that? Abdullah ibn Sarh. Faqal Rasulullah. So the Messenger of Allah said, Write it. This is how it came. <laughs> right in there. This is how it came to me. And then it says here, Fashakka Abdullah. So Abdullah became suspicious. And he said, if Muhammad was telling the truth that he is receiving inspiration, well, I receive inspiration as he did. And if he is lying, there is no good in his religion. And then he ran away to Mecca, and some they say he died as a kafir, and some they say he became Muslim again when Muhammad conquered Mecca, so he will not die. So let us look at Google and translate. <clears throat> uh, until now, I have zero Muslim trying to contact me in Palto. Zero, trust me. They will not dare. So let us see here. We will use Google Translation. Look like when we click in the middle, there is a script, so you have to go out, translate to English. Remember, I gave you the link. Correct, guys, you got the link, right? So you can use Google Translation and you will see, it says it clearly. <clears throat> Just to make it say, you know, uh, Uh, let's see. Let's see how good the translation is. The translation is not too much good, but you know, I mean, you get the idea. And then he says, doing something. The third issue, uh, the translation is very false. He said to him, uh, "Write it." Then this is how it was revealed to me. Muhammad. He said to him, "Write it." You see, translation here is stupid. Translation in this part, sadly, is not good. Maybe if you copy the text from this part here by itself, not as a page, you can get it better. So he said to him, Muhammad, he said to him in red, write it then, this is how it was revealed to me. So Muhammad, he heard the guy saying the sentence before him. 
exactly the same sentence. Muhammad he said to him, write it there. This is how it was revealed to me. Then Abdullah, he have adopt about uh, he have adopt and he said, if Muhammad was sincere in what he says, then it was revealed to me as it was revealed to him. <laughs> And if he's a liar, then no good in his religion. And he fled to Mecca. That's mean he, you know, he said it clearly, there is no good in his religion. Do you see it, Muslims? Do you see it? And this is the tafsir in the front of you in Arabic. You can use Google Translation. <clears throat> uh, uh, safe. You are a very funny and stupid idiot. We talk about your prophet and you try to change the topic. I hear the New Testament, the New, New Testament love the Jews. Yes, the New Testament love the Jews. Jesus said, forgive them, Father. They don't know what they are doing. You are an idiot. Jesus, not only he loved the Jews, he loved the Muslims, he loved the Hindus, he loved the atheists, he loved everybody. The Bible says, for God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son to save you. So don't be silly and get out. Next time you come here, wear hijab like Mimi hijab because none of you dare to call me. So where is Islam? Where is, where is Allah? This is in your books. That Muhammad is stealing the statements of men who they are writing. The secretary is made in Quran. The secretary of Muhammad is making Quran. Not to mention that Omar, he made Quran too. Do you know that? Omar, there is many verses in the Quran are made by Omar. <laughs> Omar, he said, <coughs> it was narrated that Anas, that Omar, he said, I agreed with my Lord. What agreed with my Lord? It says, my Lord agreed with me. You know? And uh, in three matter, or my Lord agreed with me. In three matter, what? The Lord agreed with you in three matter? Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? Ye? The Lord agree with Omar? Really? Look like Omar, he was the prophet. Any Muslim have an idea? And then whatever Omar he say, Allah, he make it Quran? <laughs> Omar, he go to Muhammad, he say something to Muhammad. Omar, he, he turn his back, he go home, he wake up in the morning, he find Muhammad using the exact word of Omar as Quran. Me. Omar, he say it, Muhammad, he do it. Look at this, look, look, look. Look, 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 look. Oh boy. Oh boy. Omar, he say it. Muhammad, he do it. Any Muslim? Who is the Prophet Omar? Or Muhammad? <coughs> Actually, uh, uh, even Muhammad, he claimed, he said, because Omar, he, you know, obviously he got him busted. Uh, <clears throat> he said, if there is a prophet will be after me, it's going to be Omar. Can you believe it? Do you know that? And obviously, Muhammad, he said that because he's trying to cover his bum. For Omar, he knew that he is copying whatever he say. Omar is the one who was creating Islam. 
the hijab is made by Omar the stories of many many things in Islam is made by Omar hijab is not from Allah is not from Muhammad it's from Omar Omar was spying at the ass of Sauda the wife of Muhammad he saw her in the dark he says Arif Naki ya Sauda we know we know that this is you Sauda which means I know your ass I mean imagine how filthy he didn't respect Muhammad, this Omar, he considered Muhammad is just a, like a mule, he ride him. Okay, this guy is claimed proper, but we will take as a friend of him, take advantage. And later I will became a king. He was spying at his wives, making fun of his wives. Muhammad, he said. Let us see where is the hadith about Omar. <clears throat> Hmm. By the way, Muhammad he claimed that there will be after him thirty messenger. They claim to be prophet of Allah. <laughs> Where are they? Where are they, Muhammad? Let us see the hadith. I'm trying to find the hadith about Omar. Uh, This so should be in a tour movie. <coughs> Here we go. Allah Messenger said, if there is, if there was to have a prophet after me, it would have been Umar ibn al Khattab. <laughs> mean. Do you see it? Do you see it, Muslims? Muhammad is stealing Quran from Omar. Omar make for you verses and chapters. Omar is the one who ordered Muhammad to go and 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 and, and, and do hijab. Omar is the one who made you go around the Kaaba. Omar, Omar, all those things is coming from Omar. Some story says that more than ten things in Islamic order is coming from Omar. Major things like the hijab and the Kaaba. And then Muhammad, he confirmed that if there is a messenger will be after me, it will be Omar. Any Muhammadan? <clears throat> Those a Muslim want to say something. Do you believe that the election still was a fraud? Well, yeah, obviously there's a lot of a fraud in this election. Yes, I believe. Yeah, but, but what does have to do with our topic? Obviously Biden, he win by the mail, not by people in person. People in person should be counted because in mail, we don't know who, who mailed them. You know that. Don't change my topic. Do we have any Muslim? Want to say something? So hijab is from Omar, the divorce of the wives of Muhammad from Omar, uh, uh, the, the, the Kaaba is from Omar. So what Muhammad he have? What Muhammad he have? And in the top of that, Muhammad he claimed that if there is a prophet will be after him, it's going to be Omar. <clears throat> Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim have something to say? We have zero Muslim contacted us in Paltok. What is the qualification of Omar? Hmm? Hmm. 
Dein Name ist Dein. No Muslim? Hmm. Very interesting. What happened to the Muslim today? Do Omar al Khattab agree with Muhammad even about the black stone? Do you remember the other website we told you to ask, ask them a question about, uh, uh, about why Muhammad kissed the black stone? <clears throat> the person from Bukhara, he left Islam. That's what happened, he left Islam. Uh, guys, uh, focus, focus with me. Hmm? Didn't Omar get Muhammad busted and he said the black stone is useless? If you remember the website, we asked you to, uh, you know, like to uh, uh, chat with them and ask them the question, why Muhammad he kissed the black stone? Actually, one of you, he did a chat with them and sent me a link for the chat. Let me see if I can find it for you. <coughs> Give me a second. Oh. <laughs> so the question was, you can share with me please about Islam, but first I wanna know why Muhammad he kissed the black stone. This is the question. The Muslims in the Muslim website he right away start sharing the hadith about Omar. And this is the hadith. Bukhari 1520. Let us zoom in. <clears throat> it was narrated that Ibn Omar said, I heard the Messenger of Allah uh, saying, uh, Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, touching them, erase your sin. Look, look here, it says here, explanation for sin. What explanation? Touching the stones of a rukun al Yemani, the, the, the Yemeni corner and the black stone, will make your sin demolish, will erase it. But in the previous hadith, let us show you. The same person, oh, hold on, the screen is off, is off. Sorry, guys, give me a second. Just give me a second. Don't worry, don't worry. We will show you. Don't worry. Be happy. <coughs> All right, let us open the screen for you. So, has anyone ever offered to share with you about the basic belief in Islam? This is the Muslim website. The questionnaire saying, or the questioner are saying, you can share with me, but I want to know first why he did kiss the black stone. Was he a pagan? The Muslim said, no, he was not pagan. And then they posted the hadith for the one asking the question. It was narrated that Omar, may Allah pleased with him, for sure he's pleased with him, come to the black stone and he kiss it, and he said, I know you are only a stone which can neither be in benefit or cause harm. We're not, we're not, uh, it's not that I had seen the Prophet blessing of Allah upon him kissing you, I would not have kissed you. The question is why he kissed it. 
then the person he insists to know why he can say it. Okay, so it's useless. Why he can say it? Look what the Muslim they said in their website. Just to show you the stupidity. And then they posed for her or the him the, the answer again. There's a different answer now for the same topic. Why he kissed the black stone? It's narrated that the prophet says the one who touched the black stone and the many corner, Allah erase his sin. But you just showed me that Omar, he said it's useless. You see, guys, isn't this the hadith you post a second ago saying that Omar said that this, this stone is useless. So how now Muhammad saying the stone will erase your sin? And how a stone can erase sin of anyone? Hmm? Any Muslim? So Omar said the stone is useless. There's no benefit, there's no harm. Muhammad, he claimed that the black stone is going to have eyes, is going to have a tongue, is going to witness. Muhammad, he claimed that the black stone is the right hand of Allah. And then Muhammad, companion, Umar ibn al-Khattab, which Muhammad, he claimed that if he was the prophet, is going to be, if there's a prophet, is going to be him. He say that those stones are useless. So which one of them is lying? Muslims, which one of them is lying? Muhammad or Omar? <clears throat> and the funny, they say that Christians are pagan. We worship a man. Since when paganism is worshipping a man? Paganism is not, for you know, worshipping idols. But, you know, uh, you Muslims... You believe stones can erase your sin. And look how easy to erase your sin in Islam. Just touch a stone. Any Muhammadan want to have an answer? You see here there's a contradiction a person he claimed to be a prophet saying those stones they are you they are they are useful it's Allah, Allah send it it was white like milk Allah he sent it from heaven and it if you touch it erase your sin it's going to have eyes and tongue It's going to speak and witness for you blah 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 and then Omar he says huh, I know that you are useless and I agree I agree with Omar, by the way. I mean, we have no question about that. We agree with Omar. Omar telling the truth, this stone is useless. Obviously, Omar is a smart man. Muhammad is dumb. And this is why Omar was able to direct Islam as he want. I know that you are useless. I know that you are harmless. But here you notice that Omar is a very big time hypocrite. <clears throat> because think about it. If Omar is saying, I know that you are useless and harmless. Yet because the prophet kiss it, I will kiss it. Isn't it this is a form of hypocrisy? He's not convinced that he should kiss it. Right? He is just being a hypocrite to Muhammad. I know that this is stupid stone. I know this is a garbage stone. I know that the stone is useless. I know this is stupid. But eh, this is what our prophet he did. So what we do, we do as he do. Any Muhammad is doing as the prophet did? Water is good. Any Abdul? 
today we don't have too many people only 953 it's Sunday usually Sunday and Saturday is not too many uh, any Mohammedan so who is Allah until now for how long we are live on air Muslims they they fail to tell us who is Allah they gave us all kind of funny stupid answers have nothing to do with the topic who is Allah they don't know <clears throat> not a single Muslim he knew who is Allah anyone I'm very disappointed on, on you Muslims I thought you Muslims you know who is Allah I mean Allah is the one who sent hail from mountains in heaven Allah is the one who made the women have a sperm in her ribs Allah is the one who saw the Sun sitting in murky water Allah is the one who found where the Sun rise from and yet you do not know who's Allah the way I see Allah he is the idiot of the village One of the most funny things Allah, he presents himself to us to be a smart person. Anyone remember which verse? I find it one of the funny, it's not just a, forget about scientific mistakes and history mistakes, he doesn't even call the names, you know, everything is wrong. Anyone remember which verse I'm talking about, which is presenting the most stupid logic <clears throat> if you go to chapter 3 verse number 65 read and laugh literally read and laugh and I challenge any Muslim to explain to me how in the world Allah he come with this if Allah is exist Allah he said to the Christians and the Jews hey, hey Christians Christians why you dispute about Abraham? But what's wrong with you? Why you dispute about Abraham when he, the law and the gospel were not revealed till after him? Do you see it? How Muhammad he says such a statement? If the one who came after Abraham cannot debate about Abraham, that's mean Muhammad he is the last one. He cannot debate the Christians, he cannot debate the Jews. I cannot find more stupid answer than this. You go to the store and there's a long line in front of you. Let us say, not a store, Corona, you know, Corona check, you know, like test yourself for free. And then the last one in the line, he said to the first one in the line, what's wrong with you? Why you are debating about Abraham when you came after Abraham? But Muhammad is debating us about Abraham. He debated us about Jesus. He debated us about Moses. And he was the last one. <laughs> so if the one who came after a person, he cannot debate about him, then he, Muhammad, he cannot debate about any. This is God talking. I can imagine how long it took Allah in his office thinking about how he can be the smart people. He went to his office, he started thinking, I will refute them and I will beat them up with my answer. Bingo. So Allah, he hold the pen, he says, hey, Christian and Lewis, how you are debating about Abraham when he came after Abraham? And look, he did not even say when you came, he said, when the law and the gospel. So you cannot use the law and the gospel to debate about Abraham? You cannot use the word of God to debate about Abraham. Do you see the stupidity? He is not saying just you came after him. He says when the gospel and the Torah, they came after him. So he is saying, he admitting that he cannot refute them from the gospel. He cannot refute them from the Torah. He's asking them, please don't use the Torah. 
But the Torah is the book of Allah, supposedly, according to Muslims. Why we cannot use it? <coughs> Any Muhammadan? Anyone? Who is a Muslim? He have anything to say? Who is Allah? Who is Allah? So you Muslim, you worship a God, you do not know who is he? All what they know, all what the Muslim they knew, that Allah, he have a shin. Allah, he have a hand. Allah have a face. Allah have a mouth. He have eyes. He have a foot. Allah will do striptees. The day the day that the shin shall be laid bare. That's deep. The shin will be laid bare. When they ask Muhammad, <clears throat> how we will know, how, are we going to see Allah? He said, yes, you will see Allah. He, they said to him, how we will know it's him? He said, he will, he will show his shin, the shin. The shin. I'm trying to find you the hadith, just give me a second. <coughs> Here we go. Read with me and laugh. The shin. We will recognize Allah from his shin. I cannot wait to see the shin of Allah. I guess here the translation did not translate it, did they? Let us see. <clears throat> um, What's wrong with the search? It's not showing. Um, they said to him, in which way you will recognize him? They would say, and the thing would be laid bare. The th you see the translation? You see the liar, they say they translate the word shin as the thing. What thing? You see how they lie? The thing will lay it bare. What thing? The, the thing? I was looking for the word shin. I could not find it in the translation. It's gone. They don't want to show you that Allah is going to show his shin. Let us see. Hmm. No shin, huh? In the translation, it's gone. Look in Arabic. فَيُكْشَفُ عَنْ سَاقُ 
Let us try to find different translation of the same hadith or different number. Just to show you how they lie in the trans. This is why you, you see this is why I say that those who learn about Islam from translation, they learn nothing. A person who don't speak Arabic, unless the teacher is honest and he show him and he knew Arabic very well. Then you learn nothing. Let us see this one. If with the shin is here, <coughs> there's no shin. And this one. This one has uh, this one have a shin. Okay, this one. Here we go. See, we just changed. We just changed. The this is the same website. Obviously, the one who translated here is more honest. The other one is trying to hide it. Do you see the word shin? Here we go. Let me pause the hate for you. Do you see it? People, is it clear in the screen? They say to Muhammad, okay, what sign, do you know uh, any sign which you can recognize him? Him who? Allah. They will say the shin. So Allah will uncover his shin. Do you see it? So how come the shin disappear in the same hadith in the other translation? Remember, we are reading the same thing in Arabic. Why here the shin appear, there there's no shin. Mr. Muhammad Iqbal, he's saying, let me take a selfie for you, Muhammad Iqbal. I like to make Muslim famous, my friend. Welcome. Muhammad Iqbal, he's saying, I'm twisting facts. My friend, I'm showing you on the screen, your God, Allah have a shin. I'm twisting facts. You Muslims are hilarious. I'm reading your books, your prophet words, your translation, and yet you say to me, and I, even I show you the Quran, and then you say to me, I'm twisting facts. I am twisting facts. Do you see the word shin? Did you, do, you, do you know how to read? How you will recognize Allah? From his shin, Allah will uncover his shin. What, what say you? You know, if Allah, Shin, I mean, I don't know what to say to you, but I am afraid that the Shin of Allah are not good looking. Do you think Allah will have a nice Shin? He's wearing high heels. Alhamdulillah. How you Muslim will recognize Allah by his shin? You tell me, explain to me. As long we are twisting facts as you claimed. You want to call me and tell me how you will recognize Allah by his shin? Remember the hadith speaking about seeing Allah and Allah will come to you in a shape other than the one you know. Brothers and sisters in Islam, I introduce to you the shin of Allah. Allah shin is very shiny. Who can have a shin like Allah? Allah will uncover his shin and all the Muslims will bow down to the shin. Shin worshippers. You are a sin, a shin worshiper. Prove me wrong. You will bow down to what? To the shin. Who is saying that? Your prophet. Who translate that? You Muslims. Which reference is that? Al Bukhari. What say you, Iqbal? Are you going to refuse to bow down to the shin of Allah? Do you dare?
Yet you are saying to me I'm twisting facts? They have nothing to say, they cannot answer. The only thing they start attacking you as a person. I mean, who cares about what you say about me, my friend? Is it going to be hairy shin? One shin? Why? Like Allah, he like 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 a bird who a, a, a fish a, a shark ate the other leg. He only one. How many how many legs Allah have? One. The Quran says shin. There's no two shin. Allah has two hands in the right hand and the right side. Have you ever heard of a defect like this? Are you there, Iqbal? I'm twisting the facts. The two hands of Allah are right hands. What do you say? Why Allah have two hands? Any Muslim can tell us, you see, you say Christians, they worship a man, his name is Jesus. Okay, but we Christians, we, uh, we believe that God, uh, he came to us in a person as a man, but he exists before he came in the flesh. Your God, Allah, he is hands and chin and foot. And he have two hands, both of them in the right side. I am thinking that Allah, when he shake hands with people, he will be confused which one to use because both of them, they are right. Mm. In the Hadith, it says that Allah, he has a foot. Same as the, you know, I mean, same as the rest. There was a sheikh, I used his video to get Mimi, Mimi, Bibi, Fifi busted. The Muslim, they start flagging the video of this sheikh because he is saying exactly what destroyed them. But anyway, there's too many of them. Even Zakir Naik, he agreed. Allah has hand. But is Allah hand like your hand? No, brother. Allah, nothing like him. But yet, do Allah have a hand? Yet, Allah have a hand. <laughs> do Allah have a hand? Yet, Allah have a hand. But how Allah have a hand? Allah have a hand. I mean, Zakir Naik is my best comedian. Do Allah have a hand? Brother Sitter, the brother they argue with him. Then do I have a hand? I have to admit, in the death of the Quran, the verse 13 is 13. It said, yet Allah have a hand. But how will a hand look like? We don't know. Don't ask with him. Are you sure? This is Zach and before he got rich, you know, like he got a. Now he is eating beef and etc. And uh, in the side. Yeah. Let us see. <laughs> so the human being says that he's so holy, he's so pure, he does not know how the human being feels when he's hurt, when he's in problem, when he's in trouble. So Almighty God becomes a human being to know what is good or what is bad for the human being. You see, this he explained the Christianity that the Christian they say that God, he do not know how a human being feels, so he become a human being. This is what we believe. I mean, what a bigger fraud. This is what we believe. We believe, we, we, we Christians believe that Jesus became a man because God, he do not know how we feel.
<laughs> what a scam okay so what happened to Allah why he became a man or he became a shin and you know you see how they lie I mean unbelievable go go Abdul in the face of it very good logic almighty God so holy so pure so pious does not know the shortcomings of human beings he becomes a human being where where you get this from where it says in the Bible that God do not know how a human being feel <laughs> And understand the system, and then he says what is good, what is wrong for the human being. Ah, oh, okay. For example, if I make a VCR, a video cassette recorder, do I have to become a video cassette recorder to know? You see, you Christian, you are destroyed. Zach and I, he demolished you. Do you have to be a VCR decoder to know what a VCR recorder was? <laughs> Zakir, so do Allah have to become a shin to feel how shin work? <laughs> do Allah need to have a hand so he knew how the hand work? What is good or what is bad for a VCR? No, since I'm the manufacturer, since I'm a creator, Look at this guy I don't with the have beer. to become a VCR to know what is good or what is bad for the VCR. What do I do? I write an instruction manual. The instruction manual for the human beings, it is the glorious Quran. No, for a VCR. Are a exactly. In the Quran, it says sperm coming from the back backbone of the man, and women have a sperm coming from their ribs. And the sperm became a congealed blood. And the sun set in murky water. Continue. The instruction manual that if you want to play the video cassette, insert the video cassette and press the play button. If you want to stop, press the stop button. If, if you want to play a, a, a Quran, pu uh, push the breathe. <laughs> Give me the answer about why Allah he have hands and face. Let us move it a little bit, this stupid thing. Misunderstand and say, okay, Allah has got hands, Allah has got form. So isn't it going against the argument? The answer is given in Surah Shura, chapter number 42, verse number 11. That, Laisa kamisni shay. There's nothing whatever like him. What does have to do with the question? Do Allah have hands or not? Nothing like him, guys. Nothing like him, but he, is have, he have two hands. But we have two hands too. You just said nothing like him. He have a face. We have face too. <laughs> he have a foot. We have foot too. He have five fingers. We have five fingers too. But nothing like him. Nothing like him, brother. Now the question is, do Allah have hands or not? Give us the answer. It's like Allah did nothing. He <laughs> hears and he sees. But he doesn't see and hear like you and me. Uh -huh. Allah says in the Quran, Walam yakullahu kuffan ahad in Surah Ikhlas, chapter number 112, verse number 4. There's nothing like him. Uh, Again in Surah Shura, chapter... You stupid. This is not what it says, nothing like him. They said, lahu kuf on ahad, nothing is equal to him, you donkey. doesn't say, he doesn't even know what he's talking about. Go ahead, continue. Number 42, verse number 11. There's nothing comparable anything to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when... Nothing comparable to Allah. And then Allah in the Quran says, Allah is the same as a light in the niche. Same as a tree, same as a burning oil. Nothing is comparable to Allah. Is it this is Quran? Allah Himself comparing Himself to a niche. <clears throat> Read with me to show you the stupidity of this religion. Allah is the light of the heaven. The example of his light is like the niche, the niche, which is in the lamp, and the lamp is in a glass, and the glass where it's in a it's a in oil and the oil is burning and growing. But you just said no, nothing can be compared to Allah. So how Allah compare himself to a lamp, have oil in it, it's burning, and oil coming from a tree. See those people, they they can't they can't be sound like they knew what they are talking about as long as the audience are a bunch of idiots. Imagine this guy is talking to me. What will happen to him? In a second, we will spank him. Is it is this Allah comparing himself to a tree, and then to a niche, and then to a lamp, which powered by the the, the fire of it is it from oil? And Allah gave example to people, and he is known of all things. So Allah gave an example of his light, but he is light himself.
supposedly. Let us go back to Zakura. Okay, Zook. Go, Zook, Zook. A lot talks about hands. It's not like the hand that we have got. Five fingers, like this line. A lot. Huh? Not like uh, five fingers. Just to show you that this guy, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Allah has five fingers. What this guy is talking about? This guy is a scar. The screen is off. Don't don't cry. Let me find the video. <laughs> it's not like uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, our hand five fingers. You liar! Yes, Allah have fingers. Uh, I'm just looking for the video. Give me some time. You see the problem? I search for things I find myself. Unbelievable. I mean, what I would do? How I can, how I can, uh, you know, here we go. This is the guy. He says, Allah have five fingers. But let me see if I can move it to the point where he speak about the fingers. Remember, he just said, second neck, he, we got him busted saying, Allah, he didn't have fingers like us, you know. Let us see. Uh, here. It says that a Jew came to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa A Jew came to her and he said to him, Ya Muhammad, look at the way they speak. Ya Muhammad, not Ya Rasulullah. Ya Muhammad, Allah Ta'ala will place all the heavens on a finger. Allah Ta'ala will place all the mountains on a finger. Allah Ta'ala will place all the trees on a finger. Allah Ta'ala will place all of the creation on a finger. And then he will say, I am the king. Upon that, the king of fingers. Muhammad Sallam smiled until his premolar teeth became visible. And he recited, Ma Allah haqqa qadri. They made not a just estimate of Allah, such as is due to him. Abdullah, the narrator, said the reason why he smiled is to express his wonder and his belief in what the Jew said. So what does this prove? That Allah has? Has? A finger. A fingers. <laughs> but we just heard Zach and Nick saying Allah have no fingers. <laughs> have a finger and nothing like Allah I mean we have to admit nothing like Allah Allah have five fingers Allah have a foot but nothing like Allah nothing 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 like Allah <laughs> so anyways I can he agree that Allah have a hand but is it like hand like us Allah alam at the end of all this garbage he say, how Allah hand look like Allah, Allah which we Allah knows best. And then hand, how Allah Allah. <laughs> Allah have a hand, how Allah Allah. <laughs> a second ago you said it's not like our hand, you idiot. <laughs> Allah then hand, how Allah Allah. Allah Allah. Allah has hand, yes. How Allah Allah. The end of the story. Don't ask me. This is this is crazy. Do you see Muslim the stupidity of you? Of those are your scholars. Each one of them he give a different story. What kind of a scholars they are? And this is the guy you call him a scholar. You know the other guy for sure he knew way better than this donkey. This man for sure he knew what he's talking about. Zach and Nick is just a joke. 
So all this VCR, the Christian, they say that Allah, he became a man. So, so God, uh, he uh, know what happened to a man. Really, the Bible says that? Where? Show us. The Bible says God, God became a man so he can feel how the VCR work. You see, even how even they lie to each other about what we believe, not only they lie about what they believe, because he just lied. He said, Allah don't have fingers like us. So either he's a stupid, he do not know what the Hadith says and what his prophet teach, or he knew and he's hiding, he chose one, either one is a problem. Do we have a name, Abdul? <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? So who is Allah? All what we knew about Allah right now, he is a stupid, he says stupid things. He do not know history, he do not know science, he do not know even how to quote names. Mary, she is the daughter of Amran. Moses is the son of Amran. Mary is the sister of Moses. Jesus is the son of Maryam. The father of Abraham, his name is Azar. <laughs> the Sam the Samaritan, he was in the time of Moses. I mean, I don't know what to count. Haman is the, is is a is a minister of the Pharaoh. <laughs> the Babylon is built by the Pharaoh. And the Babylon is where Allah He sent two angels to teach black magic, holy booter. And you are telling me that Muhammad he is not. I mean, everybody is copying from Muhammad. How Allah He knew about the school of holy booter, you know, uh, 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 that long ago? I challenge any of you to tell me how this happened. Allah, he sent two angels. One, his name is Harut, and the other one, his name is Marut. And the purpose of sending them is to open a school of Hoributa. Read it, it's in front of you. Read it, Muslims. It was not Solomon who disbelieved, but was the devil who disbelieved teaching people magic and which was revealed to the two angels at the Babylon, Harut and Marut. <laughs> and those angels, brothers and sisters, Allah, he sent them to open school to teach only one kind of magic, to make the husband and the wife fight. Any of you had a fight today with his wife? Be honest with me. If that happened to you, my friend, that because of Harut and Marut. The Quran never lie. Harut and Marut, they open a school to make husband and wife fight. You wash the dishes. No, you wash the dishes. Okay, you know what? I will do black magic for you. Actually, the black magic is already done. This is why they are fighting. Alhamdulillah. Knowledge. I mean, what is that? <laughs> Thank God I'm still single. <laughs> I mean, this one scared the hell of me. <laughs> So, brothers and sisters, Allah, he sent two angels in the Babylon Tower. Makes sense because the Babylon is so high and they cannot die, go down from the sky without the Babylon Tower. <laughs> and the angels, before they teach anyone magic, look, 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 it says, but the two angels do not teach anyone magic unless they say, disclaimer, disclaimer, we are a trial. So don't disbelieve by practicing magic. Sign here. <laughs> yeah.
Isn't it amazing to be a Muslim? <clears throat> hmm? Harry Potter, the school of Allah. I mean, look, think about it. Any book of fiction cannot beat the Quran. Nobody can beat the Quran. It doesn't matter how much you try. Don't even try to convince me. Hmm. Until now, today, zero Muslim contact me in Pal Talk. Zero. Finito. Nobody knows who is Allah. Well, conclusion, Allah is the one who opened Harry Potter school. Allah is a God who allow his followers to do muta, which means renting women for one night stand or one hour stand. Allah is scientists who taught the Muslims that women have a sperm coming from their ribs. This is why I believe now that women have a breast testicles. Since Allah, He knows best. <laughs> Allah is so good in geography, He knows where the sun sets, where the sun rises. Allah, He told us about Juju wa Majuj. Did you guys forget about Gog and Magog? Did you forget about Gog and Magog? Please don't. You cannot. If you do that, you are in trouble. I showed you how the Muslims imagine those people mission in the Quran. They are not, by the way, those are not a human. Remember that. Gog and Magog, like uh, uh, according to the, ref, the Islamic reference. The one of them he can sleep inside his uh, uh, his uh, uh, his ear his ear like big like a tent and he can sleep about it but muslims you know they try to imagine how gog and magog they look like so remember they are not a human number two remember that the number the percentage of gog and magog to human is one thousand to one which means if there's one human there's one thousand of gog and magog and the one thousand actually like each one of them he would make one thousand before he die which means the number will be infinite number, a huge number, like uh, because each of his kids before he die, they will be mature and they will make babies. They will be mature so fast. So when Muhammad is speaking about them, he speak about like we should now have trillions and trillions of those creatures, Gog and Magog, who they are very scary. Hmm. Uh, look, look, here the Muslims are trying to find out where Gog and Magog located. <laughs> oh. oh boy. Look at those two Gog and Magog. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> and this is the dam which Allah he ordered his prophet Zulkarnain to build the dam and be behind that dam is Gog and Magog they cannot come to us aha uh -huh. the reason they are not coming to us because there is a dam that's what the verse is saying So, who is Allah? Hmm? <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? Who is Allah? Allah is an Arab God inherited from other gods, other ethnic groups, other languages they don't know even the muslim what the word allah mean al mean god 
La is the name which is coming from other language, have nothing to do with Arabic. That's why the Muslim they have no idea how to say what, what Allah mean. And <clears throat> he come with tons of fiction stories, which mean Muhammad claiming that those belong to his God. Those stories are exist already before Islam. And Muhammad, because he's an idiot, the, most of those stories, by the way, he was a trap by the Jews. The Jews, they make fun of him. So they ask him questions and Muhammad is a stupid. And later he discovered they are making fun of him. So they ask him questions. Muhammad, he go home and start asking questions like the slaves, Salman al-Farisi, who is more, way more educated than him. There's many slaves. There are slaves coming from uh, 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 Syria, uh, uh, from Iraq, north of Iraq. So there is a slaves, he, you know, he learned from them and he come with the stories. But those stories are fiction stories. The story of the Prophet Al Khudr, Mr. Green, who drank from the fountain of youth. And because he drank from the fountain of youth, he never died. The story of Zul Qurnain, the person who went, he found all the way. They asked him, the Jews, they said to him, hey, Muhammad, who is Zul Qurnain? What do you know about the Prophet? His name is Zul Qurnain. They made him believe he's a prophet. So the fool, he got the trap. They ask you, Muhammad, about Dhul Qurnayn. Dhul Qurnayn means the, the person with the two, it doesn't even say a person, we don't know, that the one with the two horn. Tell them, Muhammad, we will tell you some about him. So the Jews, they ask him a question. And the fool, Muhammad, he got the trap. And suddenly, Alexander the Great became a messenger of Allah, who Allah, he sent him a mission, Allah gave him victory, and then he found where the sun set, he found it sitting in a muddy, you know, water, not ocean, spring of water. And then he keep going, he take different direction, and then he found where the sun rise. As if it's a location. So now we knew that this guy he is the first one to discover where the sun set, where the sun rise. And each time he go to a place, he found a place, he found people next to it. And then he went in the other direction. Until he found between the two mountains. He found people they can understand barely nothing. I mean, look how stupid the story. How they can understand barely nothing. And then they said to him, Hey, a prophet. Make for us a dam. <laughs> How they understand nothing and now they are telling you even what to do. It's their idea. How they are barely they can understand anything. He found beside them people who could hardly understand his speech. This is the Muslim translation, by the way. And then they said to him, build for us a dam. Huh? Makes sense. Why? Because there is creatures who their names is Gog and Magog. I mean, if we keep going, the story is endless, will take us forever. So, conclusion about Allah, no Muslim dare to call us, as you see, be my witness. I am here for how many hours? Not a single Muslim dare to call us to tell us who is Allah. They do not know who is Allah. They do not know where is Allah. They do not know what is the nature of Allah. They do not know what Allah is made of. They do not know anything about Allah. Allah is just a fiction name. They have no idea they are worshipping whom. We have a, a Muslim saying, Prophet Muhammad is the best man ever lived and showed mankind the exact path. So my friend, you're a prophet, he is the best, and he showed you how to do muta, how to rent a woman for one night stand. He showed you how to visit your son and flirt with the wife when the husband is not there. He showed you how to have sex, sex with the children. He taught you how to beat your wife. He taught you that you can have four women and you can divorce them and abuse them as you wish. 
He told you if you divorce your wife three times, she can't come back to you unless she sleep with the new guy. And you are telling me he show us the right path. So if Muhammad, he show you the right, so why Muslim don't want Sharia Allah? Why no Muslim want to follow Muhammad? No Muslim want to follow Muhammad. Because they cannot. Muhammad, he show you that you have to kill the black dogs because they are the devil. You have to beat your wife because this is the way to teach her good manner. You can divorce Mary by saying text message, by say divorced. And then if you divorce your wife three times, she cannot come back to you until you find a guy to sleep with her. What kind of logic is that? What, what kind of honor you have? So he showed you the right path. And not to forget to mention that he told you to kill us, to kill the enemies, to go after people who don't believe, etc. Right? Uh, Joe Snow is saying this. Let me show you what Joe Snow is saying. Thank you, Joe Snow. Or Jeep Snow. Zenab, Zenab, sorry, Zenab Sido, Sido. Maybe he's Indonesian, I'm not sure. Look at this. <clears throat> you became famous now, my friend. Smile. So this guy, he said to us the following, just to show you how shallow they are and how they insult their God. They are ignorant in their religion. They are ignorant about what we believe. How can Jesus be God? He was a baby, eating, crying, growling, <laughs> pooping <laughs> in his diaper. <laughs> First of all, you want you need to show us where he was pooping in his diaper. <laughs> yeah, Abdul, if this is what you believe, that's mean you are not a Muslim. Because the Quran say that Jesus was a prophet when he was in the cradle. And the Quran called him holy. You are saying he was in his diaper pooping. This is your Quran, you're ignorant. This is your Quran. He will speak to the people in the cradle. In maturity. Do you see it? So, if your claim is that Jesus was a baby, well, obviously your Quran saying, no, he was not. So, are you insulting your religion? Are you claiming that Allah did lie to you? And now I have to ask you the same question. How come Jesus speak in the cradle in maturity, but yet Muhammad, he was 40 years old man, he was not mature. When he became 54 years old, he went after a six years old girl. Do you see it? Who's next? Who's next? This is Jesus the Christ you are trying to make fun of him. He says, how is God? The question is, if he is not God, how he speak in the cradle and he is mature, yet he is one second born baby. Muhammad waited 40 years to be a prophet and then when the angel came to him, he squeezed him three times, still the Egypt do not know what's happening. Your God, he sent him an angel and he squeezed him three times. No, this is chapter 3, verse number 46. This is chapter 3, verse number 46. 40 years old, an angel come to him and he squeezed him three times and still Muhammad have no idea. Then the wife, she take him from his hand like a baby. She take him to the cousin of the cousin of the cousin, Waraq ibn Nufal, and she tell him, tell him the story. And then Waraq ibn Nufal, he listened to him and then said, listen, this is, must be the angel Zibril. So the guy who received the message, message, he is the last one to know. The one who been squeezed like mayonnaise and no mayonnaise came out, he is the last one to know. But Jesus in the cradle and he speak in maturity and he is a prophet of God. Question, where Jesus learned to be prophet? Any Muslim can answer us? Are you there, Mr. Uh, whatever your name? Where Jesus he learned? where he became mature and how and why muhammad is 40 years old yet he do not know what he's talking about yet he need his wife to tell him if guys do you know the story about uh, uh, 
the examination of the inspiration of the Prophet. Do you remember the story? Who remember it? When Muhammad, he saw the first time an angel in his house, according to Muhammad, he told his wife that he is seeing someone, but she do not know what is that. His wife Khadija, she said to him, when you see him next time, let me know. Muhammad, he saw him again in the corner as usual. <laughs> and guess what Khadija, she started doing? She started doing striptease. And she asked him, is he there? He says, yes, he is there. <laughs> she said to him, sit in the top of my right thigh. Is he there? Muhammad, he sat in the top of her. I mean, this mature. And this is the story. Here we go. Don't tell me we are making things up. Asira Nabawiyah. Khadija wa Imtihanul Wahi. Value number one. Page number 239. She said to him, Okay, is he there? Okay, sit in the top of my left leg. He sat there like a baby. Do you see him? Muhammad said, uh-huh, I see him, I see him. Then she said to him, okay, move and sit in the top of the other leg. Suppose the other leg will make a different deal. <laughs> Do you see him? Huh? Read it, Abdul. Ya Khadija, hada Jibrilu qad ja'ani, qalat ya ibn Am. فجلس على قم يا ابن عم فجلس على فخذ اليسرى قال فقام رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم فجلس عليها فجلس عليها قالت هل ترى <laughs> he said yes so so she, he said I see he see him Zabliel Zabliel I think it's Zabliel you know so he, the, the, the whole idea is they want to check if this is an angel or not so she said to him sit in the top of my right left, left leg do you see him now he said, yes, still I see him. Okay, now move and sit in the top of the lid in the right leg. So he moved. Go sit in the top of my right thigh. So he moved and he sat in the right thigh. And she said to him, Hal tara? Do you see him? He said, yes, yes, I see him. I swear by Allah, I see him. Very cute. <laughs> then she said, okay, move. And sat in the top of me, fi hujuri. He sat in the top of her, and she said to him, "Do you see him?" He said, "Yes." Then she took off her clothes. She took off her clothing, strip him, while he is sitting in the top of her. And she said, "Do you see him?" He said, no. She said, good news, good news. I swear by Allah, he is an angel, not a shaitan. And this is the translation, click in the front of you, using Google translation. And I will post the link for you. Praise be to Allah. This is not a shaitan, he is an angel. Translation here, he says a king, is because the word uh, malak in Arabic can be both. Or um, uh, like king, you know, the, the man in the, in the movement. So imagine this is how Muhammad, he discovered if he's a prophet or not. While Jesus, he spoke in the cradle immaturity. Khadija, she needed to strap two strap teas to her husband. And how Khadija, she knew that an angel will not stay if the woman she is going to have boom, boom with the husband. And why she didn't do it from the beginning? Why right leg and left leg? What about from the beginning? Say to him, okay, let me take off my clothes. She is expert in strap teas. So, and the funny is the title name of the story the examination of the revelation the proof of revelation Khadija test of a proof of do you see it 
The proof of revelation of Muhammad is the legs of Khadija and her private part and her boobs. This is the proof of revelation. While Jesus, from the first second he came to this earth, he himself is a miracle. Do you see it? So my friend, we cannot compare between our Lord, the Messiah, who he himself is a miracle. Not only he did amazing miracles, he himself is a miracle. While your prophet asking his wife to find out if this is an angel or not, he is already over 40, yet he have no idea what he's talking about. His wife doing striptease for him. And by the way, I'm not against striptease. I support Khadija striptease. I believe Khadija, she have the right to do striptease. Otherwise, how we will know? How we will know that this is an angel of God? If not Khadija, she took off from her time, may Allah bless her, and she strip. And she did all those tricks. And obviously she have a lot of experience. How? How we will know that this is an angel of God? Thank you, Khadija. We appreciate you, Khadija. We don't know without you what will happen to Islam. The funny that Jesus, he did not need somebody to tell him who is angel, who is not. And Jesus never received an angel. Anyone can tell me why? Why Muhammad, he needed an angel to tell him scriptures. Why Jesus from the first second he is born with the scriptures. He is the word of God. <laughs> the funny is, in one of the hadith, Muhammad, he said, If you hear the sound of the donkey, and the sound and the voice of the rooster, The donkey he saw Satan and the rooster he saw an angel. That's mean donkey is more qualified than Muhammad. Think about it. If the donkey he make a sound, who 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 whatever what the sound of the donkey, I don't know how to do it. Huh? Because he saw a shaitan, yet Muhammad, he saw the angel, yet he did not know if he is an angel or shaitan. A rooster, if he see an angel, he make a sound. Yet Muhammad, he don't have the qualification of a rooster. And the hadith in front of you. So don't tell me this is weak. Don't tell me I don't agree. This is Sahih Muslim. This is Sahih Bukhari. And for sure, Muhammad, he is expert. So how come the donkey he knew if this is an angel or shaitan, but Muhammad do not know? Any Muslim knows? This is the link for the story of Khadija examining the inspiration of the Prophet. I'm posting the link for you. I don't know if the link if if, if the link is showing. I hope so. And this is the link for the hadith about the donkey. He knew more than the prophet and the rooster. I mean, the ro this rooster must be, a rooster must be a prophet of God. Cuckoo, -coo -coo -coo. How the rooster he knew that? I can't believe it, man. This rooster is so good. The rooster he knew this.
that's so good and the prophet he needs somebody to help him to know what's happening and the prophet did not know if he is seeing an angel or shaitan by the way you know I want to grow some roosters in my house uh, I think I can grow I think this uh, this town is just not a big town I think we can we can grow rooster here so if uh, if an angel come as a breed walk by coo -coo -coo -coo. but I don't know if I can get a donkey I mean that is uh, something that's knowledge how Muhammad knew this Allah told him and yet they speak about science They say that Muhammad he taught science any Muslim have any comment I think by now you understand why Muslim don't dare to call me to debate me because they knew they are no match wherever they go as you see wherever they pause for us in the chat we take selfie of it we put it in the screen and then they got busted with no mercy anything you say will be used against you anything it can be noisy for the neighbor no I will tell them that he will warn us about the angels so they will come out and, and, and uh, welcome him <laughs> I will tell the neighbors like hello you know there's a benefit of this when we hear the rooster uh, that's mean there is an angel uh, my, my neighbors are very religious <coughs> yeah he is here Jibril Jibril is here <coughs> Alhamdulillah Jibril I will take my phone and uh, my phone is very not good uh, I need I need uh, to buy a new phone uh, to take selfie with Jibril uh, Jibril will be insulted if he see my phone I mean, I need to be, get a better phone, like uh, something expensive. So, uh, hey, Zabril, hold on, Zabril. So, I will take a picture, me and Jabril and the rooster between us. I mean, think about it, how beautiful it is. And then we post it on Facebook. <laughs> okay, uh, rooster, just tell him I'm coming, okay? Just wait. Tell him, don't, I hope he's going, like, is he, like, what he's riding? He's riding a horse, riding what? Uh, rooster what do you see tell me don't repeat the same thing explain to me what do you see rooster you I keep saying the same sentence man what's wrong with you you're stuck please explain here we go he's stuck all what he knew he like he gets so excited you know like put yourself in his in his feather you know <laughs> imagine yourself you are a rooster and you see the breel I mean, you will be so excited too. So you don't know what to say. You can repeat the same thing. Zabril is here. Zabril is here. Zabril is here. You know, put yourself in his feather. Alhamdulillah. Crazy, crazy realism, brother. Who, who knows more than the prophet? Nobody. And the bearing of the donkey seek refuge from Allah from shaitan his bearing indicate there is seen a shaitan that's deep I mean we have I mean come on guys you have to take a mo take a moment of uh, silence close your eyes and think about it a donkey just think about it for a second if you dare to think about it but all of you you don't want to think about it alhamdulillah the truth brother the prophet he is so knowledgeable Nobody knows those things save the Prophet. He knew about rooster, 
He knew about donkeys. He knew about ants. The ant said, she said to the ant, hide otherwise Solomon will, do, will destroy you. You know, the other day I was walking and I wanted to go inside the mall. And it was a different country. And you will not believe it. I heard the ant saying to the other ant, hide otherwise Christian prince will destroy you. What is driving me crazy? How she knew my name is a Christian prince. I mean, we get it that the ant, she said to the ant, hide. Okay, how she knew that his name is Solomon? How the ant, she said the word Solomon? Any Muslim can tell us? A guy is coming from far away. I mean, look how famous Solomon is, man. Every ant in his time, she knew about him. Solomon is coming. I mean, you cannot beat that. How she knew his name. I mean, those, I'm really scared of ants, my friend. Once I found an ant, like if you, if you find an ant in your table, huh, and you have your like bank account, you are history, my friend. I'm telling you. The ant, she said, to the ants. Let us open the verse. I was going to go an hour ago. I eat you all. <laughs> it's cold. I'm freezing. I need to. I, I turn. I turn off my my uh, my uh, heater because it make noise. Oh boy. <clears throat> Chapter twenty seven, verse number eighteen. Imagine yourself. And by the way, Suleiman, he have an army. And his army is made from genie and human and chicken. Like what? <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I mean, this is a crazy. I, I, I have a headache already from this stupidity. I mean, I hate this cult. I, I love Muslims, but I hate the stupid Islam, you know? This is the most, I mean, how in the world a human being in 2021, in the time where people, they are living already in the space, they believe in this madness. So a man, he have an army of a chickens and genie and a human. What the name of the movie it shows that? I saw in a movie like, it's like I have to do with Hori Buter, like when trees and chickens and birds and there's cartoons about, I mean, what is this? And then when he arrived to the value of the ant, is that California? <laughs> it must be California, brother. Is that California? I think in California, there is the valley of the ants. He arrived to the valley of the ants. This is the like, United States of ants. What do you mean valley of ants? There's ants everywhere. So when he come upon the valley of the ants, an ant, she said to the ants, enter your dwelling. Otherwise, you will be crushed by Solomon. And I spend a lot of time trying to figure out how the ant she was able to know his name. That is scaring me. That is scary. You know what? I am, I, I know if I am working for the government, why you don't government, you don't hire an ant in the airport. Anyone he come, she said to you his real name to check if his passport is fake or not. Like you stand in the counter in the airport, you arrive there, and Miss Ant, they will ask her, hey, Ant, is he the same person? It says his name is uh, 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 Shakespeare. Is he this is Shakespeare? Then she will shake his head. <laughs> shake your head if he is not, because we don't speak your language. Shake your head if he is not Shakespeare, okay? If he is Shakespeare, say, uh-huh. The Ant, she knew the names of a human? That's deep. You know, I, I want to get married 
but I'm thinking now to consider one of the ants because obviously they are so smart. <laughs> I will hire her to be uh, my helper in my mission. I mean, hey, ant, what we do now? She can tell me even you behind the screen with your names, all of you. Like, okay, this guy, his name. Okay, let me, let me, let me get this guy busted. I have an ant here. Let me, okay. <clears throat> Let me show you how I can I can use the ant which is next to me here for my benefit. This is very scientific. This is very you know you know very scientific stuff you know. So uh, let me uh, uh, show you this uh, scientific stuff. So here, look at this guy. I will show you how my ant. Maybe you are laughing right now. Okay, you love kuffar. You kuffar, you laugh. Okay, wait until you go to hell. Okay, kuffar. So now, this person, I know nothing about him. He said lul. You see? I will ask the ant, which he she is next to me, and she is a female, by the way. I will not allow a male ant in my house. I mean, what people, what do you want people to say about me? No way. So, I will ask the ant what his name. Mm-hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. She told me now your name. Your name is Roy Joshua. How the end she knew your name? I know now you are astonished and you do not know how to say and what to say. Like you are going crazy now. Like you go, you will convert to Islam. You will say Shahada. Like how in the world this happened? How she knew my name? I just said Lul. It's impossible. It's it is it is miraculous, but 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 you know it's a Carinos or something you know. How she knew his name? It's impossible. And just to inform me too that you have. I'm not going to tell you. I don't know. I should say that in public. But you know what? I'm assuming that it's okay for you. Uh, forgive me, brother, if I am revealing too much information about you. She said that you have two dogs. How she knew that? I don't know what to say. I'm out of words. The ant can do that? Yes, the ant can do, brother, brother. Even Zakir Naik can go, Brother Tatar, scientifically, this is proven to be correct. And they can tell you your name. As an example, if you ask any ant in the world, what's your my name? They will say Zakir Naik. If you ask him, why when I talk, I split? Because simply I have a broken tooth. So good. I'm not sure how many of you will be like saying Shahada right now. We just told you what the untold story about Roy. Roy, you became famous now. <laughs> I'm sure many of you now saying to themselves, uh oh, he will start telling us information about ourselves now one by one because he have an ant. Christian Prince, he have a powerful weapon now. He hire an ant. I'm warning you. I know you. The ant is my helper. Don't play with me. Oh boy. This is God. This is religion. This is Islam. You know, once I was doing a seminar and there was a guy, he is a principal of a school. And the Muslim, he was almost going to convert. They told me this guy is a principal of a school and he is thinking to convert to Islam. And we invited him today. We hope he will listen to you. The guy, after I started like maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes, he said to me, this is really Islam? I said, yeah, as you see. <laughs> he start, he start like hit, hitting his head. <laughs> I mean, he is saying clearly, he didn't say it, how stupid he was to think for a second to convert to Islam. He said to me, this is really Islam. My friend, I said, as you see, I'm showing you on the screen, the reference, the proofs, the details. Even we played videos of Mohammedans. 
This is Islam. Yes, this is Islam. This is Islam. Somebody saying the word Allah is from Allah. That's false, my friend, because Allah is not even a it's not even a word by itself. Secondly, does not is not a name. Number three, uh, you must believe Allah is a name. Number four, Allah is two words, not one. Al and Ha La A. L and L and H and L L L not uh, not ilaha. That one you are saying is ilah, il, 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 word mean God. It's not a name. Don't fool yourself. Allah is two words. Anyway, so we hope that coming time we come, you can watch my videos about the name of Allah and you can laugh. But as you see, no Muslim dare to call us. We waited for all those hours, not even one. He decided to come to us and say, okay, I'm going to prove this person that he's wrong. But because they knew they are no match, they knew they cannot do it. They knew Islam is false. They decide to go silence and mute. And after I log off, you will see how many Muslims are brave to prove me wrong. All of them, they are knowledgeable. All of them just after I go offline and they will start answering all the questions which I did not ask. <laughs> uh, you know, like you will notice right away that you make a topic as example about who is Allah or yesterday the topic before the one before it. The Muslim comment have nothing to do with the topic because they don't know how to answer. They cannot answer. They don't dare to answer. They change the topic. And they will start talking about, okay, how is Jesus is God, but you don't know about the Zazman day? Huh? First, no, he knew. Secondly, don't change the topic. Why you are changing the topic? Uh, Monasia, he is saying, Biasa. Okay, why you deleted him? I want to take a picture of his. Uh... Guys, Monasia Biasa, he is an Indonesian, I think. By the way, I speak Indonesian fluently, but I forgot 99.9.9999% of it as the prophet. You forget Arabic too. When you speak about adultery, my friend, according to your prophet, if anyone he don't say certain prayer, Allahumma jannibna shaytana wa jannibna shaytana ma razaqtana, shaytan will wrap himself around your private part and he will be doing your wife and then the child will be the child of shaytan. Based on this, you are a child of shaitan, according to Muhammad, because I am sure your father he did not pray that prayer before he do boom boom to your mother. Secondly, you're a prophet himself. He is the son of shaitan because his father was kafir. Which means he did not pray that prayer. If you go right now, let me see. <clears throat> I was going to leave, man. This is endless. Uh, but let us see. Prayer to Allah before sexual intercourse. <laughs> Your wife in the bed, and now it's time to pray. Hey, honey, are you there? I'm waiting. Honey, I have to pray to Allah. Otherwise, Satan, he will put himself around, uh, you know, and will do a boom boom. Uh huh. Yes, brother. Let us see. <clears throat> uh, oh, damn, mercy. I want to show you where it says the whole story here. They are showing you the, the story here, but it's not showing you what Shaitan he do exactly. You know, you can search it yourself, like it's getting late for me. But you can search it, you will find that Muslims, they have to do a, a, a prayer before they do sexual intercourse. Otherwise, Shaitan, he will share with them the women. He will sleep with them. He will round himself around the man private part, and he will be doing sex with the women, with the wife, and the child will be his child. All right. 
Here they don't show you details about this the, the story, but you can search it in Google. I'm sure you will find it in many places. Uh, so what do you speak about sons of adultery, my friend? We knew who is son of adultery. Anyway, it's time for us to go. I want to say thank you guys for being here. I hope we did have a good time together. And I'm logging off Pal Talk right now. We are done for today. Um, if you did not subscribe yet to our YouTube, subscribe. And if you already subscribe, please don't forget to unsubscribe. We are very smart people. And Allah will give you good deeds, blessing two deeds if you unsubscribe. Because Allah, He says, the one who do good deed, Allah will de give him two deed over the bad deed. Which means if you do one deed, bad deed, sub subscribing to me, if you subscribe to me is a bad deed. That is negative for you. But if you unsubscribe, Allah will give you two deeds. Bingo. If you keep doing this all day, subscribe and subscribe, subscribe and sub Can you know, can you imagine how many deed you can make a day? From the pocket of Allah for free. Just to click in, subscribe and subscribe, subscribe and subscribe. What a smart religion. Genius God. Genius. Amazing. Too good to be true. This barbecue. Thank you all. May the Lord bless you. We love the Muslims, but Islam is funny, made by a dummy for someone who decides to be a dummy. I am not a dummy, are you? Everything we say, we prove it. If you have a sheikh, he dare to call us. Please feel free. We will be happy to have him. I will call him. Just give me his ID in Palto. I will be happy to call him, to have him with us, and we will speak to him nicely. And you will see that your sheikh will be very shaky. None of your sheikh dare to debate us. Because Islam is false. Not because I am so strong, but because your Islam is very weak. Because your prophet is a fraud. It doesn't matter how strong the one you bring. He can have a choice if he is speaking to someone who do not know your cult, but not with me. So thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. Subscribe to our YouTube. Subscribe to our Patreon if you wish. And until we see you again, maybe tomorrow, God is willing. I say, God bless. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon again. Take care.